It's my story. And it's not even my story. It's what God can do. You guys have no idea how happy I am that all these books have had to be dedicated, that my husband is over there doing envelopes. Um, I wrote my broken pieces. It started when I was 16, actually. The idea of it started, and it wasn't me. It was actually Che, who you guys know as Jenny. Um, when I finally spoke up about the sexual abuse, uh, we were giving the report and tears were running down my face because I had never even said, even written the word sexual abuse, molestation or rape. And, and I didn't know how to tell this police officer what had happened to me. And my sister, who I'm sure was going through her own pain because it was her, her first husband that did this, held my hand so tightly and she said, sister, don't be afraid, just tell your story. I'm right here with you. And I never forgot her holding my hand because that hand helped me tell my story. So she said in that moment, she looks right at me and says, sister, you should write a book. And I said, you're crazy. What can I say? I'm a mess right now. There's nothing to say. And she said, this isn't only your story. This is a story of millions and millions of people. One in four girls, one in seven boys that we know of, right? So that was when I was 16. And she would just ask me randomly throughout my life, sister, are you ready to write this book? And I was not. Well, in 2012, in about April or May, my husband and I decide that we're ready. I left my job at Infinity Insurance and I wrote her an email and I said, sister, I'm ready. And I'll never, I, ha I treasure this email. She said, I am so proud of you because you are doing this. You're gonna impact the world. And uh, we started writing the book. I started selling Mary Kay and uh, started writing the book and she passed away that December and I hadn't finished it. And when she passed away, I think a part of me passed away with her. Some of those were my dreams. But in uh, 2014, God reminded me, he said, that little girl sitting in front of the TV is still waiting for someone to speak about sexual abuse the way you used to speak at eight. Women and men still need healing. Are you willing to be the voice for them? So I picked up the book again and uh, we started working on it and we, we published it. And it's, it's our baby, it's, it's Abel and my, it's our heart, you know? It's, it's my story and it's not even my story, it's what God can do with someone that's willing to hand him over our broken pieces, our broken heart, um, our broken, thank you Alexa, <laughs> our broken pieces of our life and he can bless them, mend them, heal them. And uh, so I'm just so happy that now you guys are buying the books. We're running out. This is it. The, I have the last sets of this book. Thank you to Penguin for publishing it. But I'm the last one that has them. And um, I, give, I give you my heart. And many of you guys write me emails and DMs. And, and, and I wish I could help you through a DM and give you all my stories of what I overcame and what God did through me. But this is it. So... I just wanted to say thank you for reading my book and that we can connect and that you are not alone. And we started off of Sisters of Pain, but now we are Sisters of Healing through the power of Jesus Christ. And so the way my sister held my hand and said, tell your story, that's how I wanna do it for you. And I do it through my broken pieces. So thank you, I love you and continue in your journey and don't quit until.